Okay then guys, today we've got one of the rarest weapons in the game, a curved greatsword called the Beastman's Cleaver, and this thing it looks absolutely mental. Not only that, but this is probably one of the most endgame weapons that are farmable and relatively difficult to get your hands on, which is why you don't see them around too often. So, today we're going to show you guys a quick way to get there, straight towards the end game pick these things up relatively fast now going through the statistics you need a 25 strength and a 14 dexterity to utilize everything on this this thing is a colossal greatsword and a slash weapon and it does state the following that it has a skill called the spinning slash which skill is favored by dexterous warriors slash your foes as your body spins additional input allows for a follow-up attack as you can see on screen it's relatively okay but you can also add in your your own ash of war to make this thing do will practically bloody anything now we're going to be starting off just here at the dragon temple on the right hand side now for this purpose i have not got it unlocked so we're going to show you guys how you can get there quite simply without having this area unlocked yet you're going to want to head over to the four belfries and right at the top which is obviously where the four belfries are there is going to be a chest go over to that chest and it is going to get you a stone sword key which is a bit of a different one this is the imbued sword key and this is not one that is very easy to find so make sure that you guys want to utilize this key for this reason alone if this is the case yeah, there's not very many of them but there are three doors that you can open now we're going to head right down to the bottom and at the bottom we're going to find that there is a building that is facing away so you've got two of the teleporters that are facing down the hill you want the one right at the bottom that is facing the left hand side that is going to be the one you guys want to utilize the imbued sword key for so we're going to go ahead and pop the key straight into the stone imps and then it is going to activate this portal right here now we are going to have to essentially glitch our way through so make sure that you pay attention to everything that we are doing here we're going to pop in the imbued key and then we are going to head on over to a little island which is just next to the dragon temple it's not quite the dragon temple it is just off of it and you can't actually get over to it without doing what we're about to do right now so when we do travel over there we are going to jump off the first platform from this point you are going to want to travel to a separate location and this is going to be a bit weird but this right here the perfumer's grotto just outside of the capital once you get there quit your game jump straight out and go to the main screen menu log straight back in and continue your storyline as if you were just wanting to actually continue and you will spawn inside of the dragon temple nice and easy and this is right on the opposite side now we do need to be heading over to a different location which is right over here so we're going to show you guys a route all the way through so you guys can collect a load of grey sites and make your way over to the main section where we need to get to
At this point, if you haven't already, you will need to take out the Godskin duo. It's not that difficult. Essentially, they just keep respawning until that health bar at the bottom is gone. But once you have, you can continue on the left-hand side, far doorway, which is where we are now after you've grabbed the Grey site, which, yes, okay, yes, I, I forgot about it. Now from here, this is where you are going to be able to find them straight off the bat and we're going to show you exactly how you can farm these. Now if you jump off of this window ledge right here and jump down, you're going to come across the first one, which I actually quite luckily got it straight away. This was the first one that I actually hit and as you can see on screen, it managed to drop straight away after I took it out and took the dogs out. Beastman's Cleaver just sat there nice and easy. Anywho, we're making our way up the stairs and we are going to go to a specific doorway. Now this doorway is going to have stone sword key attachments to it which we, you will need to obviously put in because this is where the grey site is going to be where you can utilise the entire farm. So for me I just went around just quickly just took out a load of these things just to make sure it didn't mess me up and we are going to take the right hand side up here which is going to be a route round. Now this is going to take you straight to the stone sword key door and in that doorway is going to be a lift. Now, like I said, you have to activate the lift, so make sure that you go through this door and up the lift, and it is going to take you to the gray site. Now, like I've already stated, this gray site is very important as this is going to be where the main farm point is. So once you make your way up there, go up the gray site and we can continue. Okay, so gray site obtained, you wanna head back down the lift and head back towards the location that you came from on the right hand side. We are going to take out this first ad as he's really bloody annoying and he can get in the way and jump over here. Now be careful because you can fall off really easily and this is going to be where the first ad is for the cleaver. Take that out and an annoying dog will attack you as well. From here you want to go back to that little bit that you can fall off of and you want to actually fall off of it. And this is going to take you to the second one straight away. Just in front of you is the one where it dropped for me the first time. Take this dude out and then just fast travel straight back to your main grey site. And you are going to rinse and repeat this method until the sword actually drops. The cleaver is an absolutely awesome weapon. Not only does it look absolutely amazing, you can apply your own Ash of War and it is extremely, extremely effective. It is a heavy build and it can be utilized for quite a lot of strength builds and dexterity builds and this is something that you guys need to have in your arsenal. For me it's probably one of the coolest weapons, not only that but there are not many people that have got it so it is a really really rare weapon that you guys can now get your hands on. So anyway, that's all we've got time for today. If you haven't already, make sure you smash the beautiful blue thumbs up. Subscribe with post notifications turned on. I want to thank you guys for all your support. Appreciate all of your faces. But as always, until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.